Hi everyone. I want to uh, thank you for joining us today um, to start our end of the year celebration. We have um, our highlight reel or events that have pictures of events that have taken place throughout the year. And so we will share those with you. Uh, we do expect that the program will begin. So live remarks uh, from our faculty uh, around 3.30. So the slideshow will play a time or two and then we will jump in to start. Um, a few housekeeping things. So many of you know me, I'm Samantha. I'm the director for the Center for Student Success. I will be your producer today. I am uh, wearing multiple hats. And so if you notice any sort of technical glitches or I may interrupt and tell someone to unmute their microphone, um, just know that we are doing our best with this very new technology. Um, I also want to let you know that you have access to the chat box, so it's a live event Q&A. We encourage you to let folks know who you are and where you're watching from, and we would encourage you to use that to cheer each other on. There is a lot that you all have done this year. There is a lot to be celebrated, and so we hope that you will use that chat box to um, cheer each other on and let everyone know you're here to celebrate their successes. So thank you all for being here today. Um, I will mute um, myself and pull up the highlight reel as I've dubbed it and we'll get started around 3.30. Thank you.
Hi folks, uh, for anyone just joining us, uh, you are currently watching our highlight reel from all of our big events throughout the past year. Uh, live remarks will start at around 3.30 p.m. In the meantime, we encourage you to use the uh, live event Q&A function to let us know who you are and where you're watching from, um, and then also utilizing that as a way to celebrate each other and cheer each other on. Hi everyone, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, I said this, so I apologize if some of you have already heard this, um, but we will start our live remarks around 3.30 uh, p.m. with the Dean and with um, Meg from the Grossman Student Advisory Committee and some of our other faculty. And so we are very excited you're here today. We're very ex excited to celebrate you. Uh, we really encourage you to use the live event Q&A function to let us know who, you're, who you are and that you're here to celebrate with us. Um, and so yeah, I will let you all resume the highlight reel. Thank you so much.
Hello everyone who has recently joined us. I am letting you all know that live remarks will start around 3.30 p.m. In the meantime, we hope that you are enjoying our highlight reel and that you um, will use the live event Q&A function to let us know who you are and where you're watching from and who you're celebrating today. And we will get started shortly. Thanks so much. Hi folks, thank you so much for joining us today. I wanted to thank you for taking the time to celebrate our incredible Grossman School of Business uh, students and faculty and community. Uh, we will get started with the live remarks around 3.30. In the meantime, um, we will uh, continue to show our incredible highlight reel uh, with our events throughout the year. We will get started in just about 10 minutes. Thank you so much.
Hi folks, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we will start with live remarks around 3.30 p.m. Uh, in the meantime, we encourage folks to use the live event Q&A to let us know who you are, who you're celebrating, and where you're watching from. And you can also turn on closed captioning by clicking the settings button on the bottom of your screen. And we will get started in a few short minutes. We are so excited you could join us and we can't wait to celebrate you all. Hi folks, this is Sam, your producer uh, for the day. I just wanted to remind you live remarks will start at around 3.30 p.m. Uh, we hope that you are enjoying our highlight reel. To turn on closed captioning, you can see the settings button on the bottom corner of your screen and you can turn it on. It is imperfect, but it will certainly um, be as accurate as it can be and we are so excited to join, uh, to have you join us and to celebrate you all. Uh, we will start in a few uh, short minutes. So in the meantime, we encourage you to pop your popcorn, grab your drink, and we look forward to celebrating with you shortly.
Hello folks, it is almost 3.30 and we will start in just a few moments. I want to thank you all for joining us today. Uh, as a reminder, there is a settings button on the bottom of your screen where you can turn on closed captioning. We also encourage you to utilize the live event Q&A to let us know who you are and where you're watching from and who you're celebrating today. Uh, there are certainly a lot of incredible students we're going to celebrate. To celebrate, we're going to celebrate some successes of our community. We're going to celebrate the end of a really great um, year, and we are so glad that you could join us today. I want to call folks' attention to the live event Q and A, where we had a wonderful remark from our provost, uh, Provost Prelock, who wanted to extend her congratulations to you all. So thank you again for joining us. We will start in just a few short moments. All right, so thank you all so much for joining us today. Uh, we are very excited to celebrate the end of uh, this year and celebrate all of your successes. Um, for our students who were here and their families and our faculty and our staff and our community, um, we are so grateful that you could join us today. And so um, a few housekeeping reminders. So the first is this is a new um, technology for us. And so, um, you know, we will do our best. Uh, we do so wish we were with you in person, um, but we are making this work for us. Um, I encourage you all to utilize the Q&A to celebrate each other um, and to celebrate yourselves and your successes. Um, we are so grateful um, and so proud of you all in what you've done this year. And so, I also want to, if I forget, call attention to the closed captioning. You can access the settings in the bottom of the screen. And so I think that addresses all of our housekeeping. Um, and so now I would like to turn it over to our Dean to, to welcome us. Thank you, Sam. Welcome everyone. Uh, I think I hear an echo, so I don't know why, but Welcome everyone. Uh, this is, you know, I wish we were doing this live, face to face in person. This is second best, but as uh, Sam said, this is a strange time and uh, this is the best technology we have. And we did not want to miss this opportunity to celebrate our students, our faculty, our staff, so on behalf of the faculty and staff at the Grossman School of Business, I'm delighted to welcome everyone to the end of the year recognition ceremony for the Grossman School community. So our uh, students and also their friends and family, welcome uh, family. Uh, you know, this is, uh, this is uh, a great moment for our students and thank you for all your support uh, to bring them up to this point today. So as I said, while we would all prefer to celebrate in person, uh, in the strange time, we did not want to miss this opportunity to recognize excellence amongst our students and faculty and staff. And I'm always impressed at the achievements of our Grossman School community. Our students' academic achievements, their extracurricular activities, internships that they've done, and the volunteer activities that they undertake. 
our faculty and staff for their outstanding teaching, research, innovation, and volunteerism. And this year, as I said, is so strange and unusual. What I'm really impressed with is the resiliency I've seen amongst everyone. I'm really, really proud of the GSB community. I would like to begin today by recognizing the Grossman School Student Advisory Committee to the Dean or GSAC and the active role that they play within our community. GSAC is an organization of motivated and passionate undergraduate students who work to enhance the student learning and professional experience within the school. GSAC acts as a resource for students, faculty and alumni in identifying areas of opportunity to provide students with academic professional, uh, professional development and community activities. Some prominent initiatives that GSAC held during the past year include Dress for Success, an event to provide students with affordable professional wear, the second annual Grossman Dean's Cup, an in-house case competition for students to hone their business and consulting skills, de-stress, an event to help students during exam week, GSAC will also now manage the Grossman School's new undergraduate case competition committee to oversee the selection of competitors that attend various case competitions and also select the case competitions that our students go to in the US and overseas. GSAC also organizes the faculty of the year election to recognize our exceptional professors. GSAC has also recently created Grossman branded merchandise for sale. They will be expanding this line of merchandise and offer it online. So I'm, I'm looking for this GSAC. I want to buy some of this merchandise. At this time, I would also like to recognize some of our GSAC members who have graduated. This past winter, we had three members of GSAC graduate. Mary Stoops, Vanessa Rodriguez, and Haley Ehrlich. Maddie and Vanessa served as the previous executive team of GSAC with Maddie as president and Vanessa as vice president. Our spring graduates, members of the GSAC include Olivia McKinnick, Jared Percoco, Fox Winters, Brian Gomez, and Nathan Gord. These student leaders have dedicated their time and energy to making the Grossman School a place we can all be more proud of. I'm now going to hand over to Meg Scagnelli, president of GSAC, to announce the GSP Faculty of the Year. Over to you, Meg. Thank you, Dean Sharma, and congratulations to all of our seniors. Each year, the Grossman Student Advisory Committee seeks the nominations for the Grossman School of Business Faculty Member of the Year. The purpose of this award is to recognize a GSB faculty member that students feel exemplified excellence as an educator. It's my pleasure to announce Professor Rocky Lee Dewitt as the recipient of this year's GSB Faculty Member of the Year. I'd like to share with you some of our comments about Professor Dewitt. Matisse Overham from the class of 2022 said, I had Rocky for my first business class when I came to UVM. She has a way of capturing the classroom that makes her lectures something special. Rocky has a way of relating to students and presenting material that makes coming to college way less intimidating. I later worked for Rocky as a TA and the thing that really struck me about her is her passion for learning new things. I think the curiosity that she brings to any conversation and her ability to ask questions that challenge your thinking is what makes her a brilliant teacher. Sarah Fazzaro from the class of 2022 said, Rocky has such a strong passion for business that she shares with all of her students. It can often be hard to capture the attention of students at 8.30 a.m., but her genuine interest in teaching business to freshman students and sharing her extensive industry knowledge made every class interesting. She won't hesitate to help out her students in order for them to succeed and encourages every student to aim for high achievement through her guidance. She also works so incredibly hard to help her TAs by assisting them with anything they need, as well as helping them better understand management and how they can improve their own business knowledge. 
If you haven't had the opportunity to take one of her classes, I highly recommend doing so, as it will be a business learning experience you won't forget. Christian Groff, also from the class of 2022, said, Rocky cares so deeply about her students that it shines through in anything she does. She's never satisfied with going through the motions, immersing herself in everything she does, if it's related to bettering the life of students in the Grossman School of Business. So congratulations, Professor Dewitt, and we thank you for all that you do in Grossman. I'll now hand things over to Associate Dean Barbarell for the Beta Gamma Sigma induction. Thank you. Thank you, Meg, and thank you for GSAC and all of the wonderful events that you put on for us. I think the Dress for Success was just a great event this year that helped many of our students get involved um, and helped them with the clothing they needed for their important case competitions. Um, I'm just taking a look at the Q&A before we start Beta Gamma Sigma. Uh, we've got some anonymous congratulations for Professor Dewitt coming in, but we also have uh, congrats from Professor Vandenberg and Professor Jones. Um, and we're seeing congratulations for Meg as well. And Meg, thank you so much for taking the time to uh, come on and to award uh, the presentation for Professor DeWitt. I know that we all like uh, to see her hard work get rewarded. So uh, also get some congratulations from Jim Keller. Thanks for leaving some comments. So I want to, again, encourage you to go ahead and type your congratulations in your comments. We, we want to make the event as interactive as we can. So um, we want to include you in our presentation. So please type those in the comment side. OK, so we will move on to Beta Gamma Sigma. Um, Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Barbarelle. I'm the president of the Grossman chapter of Beta Gamma Sigma. And on behalf of the Beta Gamma Sigma Board of Governors and the over 800 current members of the UVM chapter, including 26 current seniors and graduate students and many faculty members, I'm pleased to recognize 28 new members today. All of these inductees have shown an outstanding aptitude for business studies and demonstrated hard work and determination. We are honored to have you join us today. Beta Gamma Sigma membership is the highest honor a business student can achieve. Beta Gamma Sigma chapters are only formed at business institutions who have worked to attain prestigious AACSB accreditation, with only 5% of all business schools earning it. We then invite only the top 10% of undergraduate students and the top 20% of graduate students to join our society. Our society is founded on a set of three principles which serve as pillars for everything the society does. Each principle is represented by a Greek word. These words coincide with the initials of our society. I'd like to share these principles with you now. Beta is the initial letter of the Greek word babios, which signifies honor. Honor is defined as personal integrity, as well as excellence of character. It is a prerequisite for those who lead others. It also encourages altruism and enlightened social responsibility and service. Gamma is the initial letter of the Greek word gnosis, which signifies wisdom. Wisdom is knowledge tested by experience and tempered by discerning judgment. It avoids prejudice and insists on freedom of thought and expression. Those who are wise seek a better comprehension and a more fruitful application of what is known. They engage in a continuous quest for understanding. Sigma is the initial letter of the Greek word spude, which signifies earnestness. Earnestness is enthusiasm measured by achievement, reason, and sincerity. It is that dynamic quality which is essential for all great achievements. Individuals who reflect earnestness inspire confidence, invite action, and generate progress. The symbol of Beta Gamma Sigma is the key. This symbol also represents our ideals of honor, wisdom, and earnestness, and is inscribed with the Greek letters which represent the society's name. We ask that all members who wear this key do so with our principles in mind. Now that the principles and symbols of our society have been shared, 
I'm happy to say that all the students pictured on the screen have been inducted into Beta Gamma Sigma. Students, you are now part of a very exclusive group of top business scholars. You will be receiving a membership certificate and a key lapel pin to outwardly symbolize your membership. And you will be able to wear the BGS cords at graduation ceremonies when they happen. Please join me in extending our sincerest congratulations and welcome to our newest Beta Gamma Sigma members. Congratulations to all. So we're now gonna move on to the Honors Day portion of our recognition ceremony. And I'm gonna turn it over to our undergraduate program director, Professor Amy Thomas. Thank you, Professor Arrell. Thank you so much to our wonderful GSB community. It's a delight to see so many of you tuned in here with us today. I have to take a moment myself to congratulate our Beta Gamma Sigma inductees and to let you know we're hearing congratulations for all of you from Professor Lowenson, Professor Dempsey, from other faculty, from alums. We have a huge group of folks commenting in on the outstanding success of our BGS students. Congratulations to all of you. Now it's my distinct pleasure to turn our attention to our honors awards. As many of you know, our honors day ceremony is typically held during the month of April and for lots and lots of reasons that you're all aware of, we are combining it as part of this special event today. I think it adds an extra special element for us all to be here together. The awards we present today allow us to recognize and celebrate excellence among our GSB students. We're always impressed not only with the academic achievement of our Honors Day recipients, but also with the many extracurricular activities, all the internships, the volunteer projects, and other types of engagement in which they are involved. Today, we have nearly two dozen awards to share with you. We'll recognize our students of distinction, our students in concentrations and themes, as well as recipients of our overall achievement awards. Before I begin, please let me take a moment to thank the Honors Day Steering Committee, Professors Susan Hughes and Professor Ante Glavis, who have worked this year with me to review nomination materials for each award and to make recommendations to our faculty colleagues who have voted on our final decisions. I must also say this process of creating today's event has been a true team process here in GSB, and I want to thank many, many, said many, many thanks to our GSB staff who assisted us this year, including Cindy, Travis, Linda and Heather, Sarah, John, Rachel, Stephanie, and we could not do this without our fantastic superstar producer, Samantha Williams. Thank you all so much for making this special event happen. We begin by recognizing our students of distinction. Our GSB 2020 First year students of distinction are those recognized as having achieved the highest levels of excellence in their first year business curriculum, including Biz Ed 10, the Business Enterprise, and Biz Ed 15, Business Communications. This year, our 2020 first year students of distinction are Flor Barillon, Joe Consorti, Cameron Deal, Tyler LaRoche, Zoe McDonald, Jacob Provost, Sam Riley, Elliot Roast, and Nick Starosta. Congratulations, first year students of distinction. Professor Thomas, before you go on to the next one, we've just had some congratulations come in for some of the BGS. So if I could just take us back for a second, uh, we have Professor uh, Pensack saying congratulations. We have Professor Yukoff who's saying it's nice to recognize so many faces that he's seen in his classes. And it's uh, congratulations for their achievements. Uh, we have Professor Jones who's saying he's standing up clapping for the students, which is great to see. And uh, we get some congratulations from our new faculty member of the year, Professor DeWitt. So thank you all for those great BGS congratulations and uh, go ahead. Thank you so much. Next, 
I'd like to recognize this year's GSB Sophomores of Distinction. The 2020 Sophomores of Distinction have demonstrated the highest level of excellence in their second year business curriculum, including Biz Ed 60, Financial Accounting, and Biz Ed 25, Sustainable Business Strategies. Our 2020 GSB Sophomore Students of Distinction are Kelly Coates, Franklin Cody, Jacob Curtis, Julia Grismore, Justin Joyle, Thomas McConvey, Trevor McLaughlin, Sarah Music, Jenna Nadasi, Matthias Overham, Ethan Salon, and Nicholas Schwartz. Congratulations, 2020 Sophomores of Distinction. And we've got some more congratulations coming in. Um, Professor Nelson would like to extend her congratulations to all those first years who she had an opportunity to teach in Biz Ed 15 and 10 this year. Uh, and I failed to mention that the Dean uh, Sharma wants to extend his congratulations to all the BGS members as well. So keep the congratulations coming. Uh, we like to, to interact with the, these awards as well. Awesome, thank you. Each year, the Philip J. Brannan Award for Undergraduate Excellence is awarded to recognize and assist quality Franklin County, Vermont students who attend the Grossman School of Business. This year, there are two recipients of the Brannan Award, Julia Grismore and Maya Stanislas. Congratulations to both of you. The Perkin Award recognizes the top members of the junior class in the Grossman School of Business. Some time ago, the Perkin family created this scholarship to recognize the top members of the Grossman School of Business junior class to offer support as they complete their studies. This year's recipients of the Perkin Award are Missy Manzella and Connor McDonald. Congratulations to both of you. And I want to interject here again, a few more congratulations for those sophomores. Uh, we have one that says he's the star of the Quidditch team and a sophomore of distinction. So congratulations to Jacob Curtis. And Professor Lowenson said she had the pleasure of teaching many of you in her class as well. And she wanted to extend her congratulations too. Uh, along with Professor Katz Burrill, congratulating all the sophomores of distinction so congratulations wonderful thank you for that at this point in the program i'm going to move to the theme awards and to present the theme awards let me introduce professor thomas chittenden thank you professor thomas so i'm thomas and i was lucky enough to win the gsac award last year and so rocky you'll you will have this very prestigious honor next year and congrats rocky very well deserved i also want to remind everybody that this is a fully catered event so feel free to step out to your kitchen and help yourself to whatever you can find all right i like cheesy jokes to try to keep things lively so I'm here to present three awards. Uh, our next three awards recognize graduating seniors who have excelled in their chosen theme. Uh, the GSB Award for Excellence in the Entrepreneurship theme is awarded to the student with the strongest overall record of academic achievement, demonstrated leadership skill, experience, and promise of future entrepreneurial ende endeavors. This year's recipient, I'm very excited to announce, is Cole Green. On behalf of the entrepreneurship faculty, Professor Eric Munson writes, Cole Green is a man of many interests, and he has been actively pursuing them throughout his four years here at UVM. In addition to his entrepreneurship theme, he has concentrations in finance and accounting, as well as minors in history and economics. In particular, he has been very active in extracurricular activities here at UVM, having served as the president of the entrepreneurship club in an important period of the, club, of the club's rebirth, and as president of the recently founded Family Business Club. In addition, he has also served in many roles in the Family Enterprise Case Competition, including Senior Student Lead Coordinator. Beyond clubs, he has represented UVM in five case competitions, and outside of entrepreneurship and real estate, Cole has a personal passion for playing guitar and woodworking. Cole will soon start his career at an accounting firm in Toronto, Canada, where I imagine he will soon be engaging in a range of entrepreneurial ventures. Congratulations, Cole. Very well deserved. If I could interrupt you right here, Professor Chittenden, we have a lot of congratulations coming in for 
our Brandon recipients also for our Perkin recipients coming in for Missy and Connor and for Julia and Maya. Congratulations again to all of you and congratulations coming in on our chat. Thanks so much, folks. Keep the comments coming. We're going to need an award for who gets the most congratulations. That'll be next year. All right, so the GSB Award for Excellence uh, is the next one in the global business theme. It's awarded to the student with the strongest academic record of excellence with special interest in a recipient's academic performance in global related subject areas, as well as extracurricular activities related to the global business theme. This year, there are two recipients, Maria Cheney and Chapin Cheney, spelled differently and not related, just by happenstance have a Cheney last name. First of all, Maria, uh, profess about Maria. Professor Lock Rocky Lee DeWitt writes, in sum, Maria evidences an ability to contribute to internationally diverse teams, as well as build teams who are capable of carrying out complex international development projects. We are so pleased to be able to say that she is a Grossman School of Business graduate staying right here in Burlington, Vermont to help Tetra Tech continue its leadership in international development. Congratulations, Maria Cheney. The second award in the global business theme is Chapin Cheney. Again, no relation, just uh, by happenstance, the same last name. Professor Steve Gove writes about Chapin that he exemplifies the immersive international learner. He spent 12 months abroad increasing his language, cultural and business skills. He complete, completed an intensive eight week Chinese language immersion experience through Princeton University's program at Beijing Normal University. As well as, as well as an advanced 16 week course through Stanford University's program at Tsinghao University. Yeah, he then completed a six month internship in Singapore as a research assistant with the Rafi Park Institute. We are delighted to honor Chapin with this award in the GSB Global Business theme and excited to see where his global training takes him in the future. If I could take a moment to take us back to the Entrepreneurship Award just for a moment, I think we have a massive consensus that the award for Cole was very well deserved. Cole, you're going to be very, very, very missed. You have been an excellent contributor, so happy for you, Cole, and well deserved. You're a staple of GSB and we will miss you. Well done, you're unstoppable. Cole Green, brilliant student and an even stronger leader, totally deserved. So again, congratulations. The third award I'll be presenting before I turn the floor back to Dr. Arell is the GSB Award for Excellence in Sustainable Business Theme. This award is given to the senior who has the strongest record of academic excellence and co-curricular involvement and achievement, especially as it pertains to activities in, the, in this concentration area and the student's overall commitment to understanding and promoting sustainable business practices. This year, there are two recipients, Michael Chan and Connor Herbrook. Regarding Michael Chan, Professor Srini Venegopal uh, states, Michael is a valuable member of the Grossman School of Business who has served the community in numerous ways during his time here. Michael has been a TA for many business courses and is loved by students and professors alike. Additionally, Michael was an ambassador for the prestigious Family Enterprise Case Competition and also served as chair for the UVM Program Board. Michael is deeply passionate about using his business skills as a potent force for doing good in the world. This passion manifests itself from his, his honors thesis on understanding how identity influences small business social responsibility. His thesis uncovers novel ideas that are academically insightful and practically impactful. Michael is a truly remarkable student, diligent and dignified in all of his academic pursuits. We are all proud of his accomplishments at GSB and we have no doubt that he will go on to win many more accolades and make the world a better place in the process. Secondly, in the global theme is Connor Herbrook. Connor epitomizes what sustainable business theme stands for. Connor has a stellar academic record, but his defining trait is his passion for putting academic knowledge to work for the betterment of the world. For example, as part of the prestigious Ecology in Action semester program, he carried out a five week research project studying endemic frogs in New Zealand. His project focused on not just rejuvenating the environment, but also assisting communities that depend on ecological resources. Likewise, his work with the Appalachian Service Project saw his lead teams that worked on housing projects saw him lead teams that worked on housing projects in underserved communities. His team worked on projects such as digging a drainage ditch for trailers to prevent water damage and replacing roof and storm gutters for a residents experiencing extreme flooding. 
Connor has demonstrated sustainable leadership in creating value for local and global communications. His contributions will serve as inspiration for future generations of sustainable business students at GSB. Before I turn the floor over to Barbarell, I just want to apologize for the squeaks in the background. It is very hard to keep cockatiels quiet while doing a virtual presentation from your home. Dr. Orell? Oh, you're doing a great job. This, great. I'm going to cut in here for a minute. Professor Chittenden, you're doing a great job with the with the birds. It's going really, really well. I did want to cut in just for a minute to let folks know so many congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, we got a nice big woohoo. Uh, lots of you'll be missed and we even have multiple languages coming in for our global theme recipients. Uh, Maria and Chapin. We've got some several notes of congratulation, a whole list folks uh, will want to come back and read after the events, uh, read what nice things people have written. Uh, Michael, wonderful things. Congratulations to you as well and uh, to Connor, both of our sustainable business theme recipients. Congratulations to all the theme recipients are coming in. Professor Orell, you have the floor. All right, thank you. I did want to point out one other uh, congratulations. I think we might have Maria's mother and father on as well, and she got congratulations from them. So it's very nice to see uh, the family getting involved. And yeah, hopefully you do get a chance to go back to read the comments because they are great. And keep them coming. We like to see them. Keep them coming. So we will uh, move now to the concentration awards. And we're going to start off with our first concentration award, which is the Gallagher Flynn Award for Excellence in Accounting. This award goes to the junior with a demonstrated excellence in academics, co-curricular and extracurricular achievement and leadership skill, thereby exhibiting promise in the accounting profession. We have two winners of this award. The first winner is Lindsay Hollowell. Along with excelling in the classroom, Lindsay has had multiple internships in accounting, first at Union Mutual of Vermont, then at Davis Hodgson Associates, where she was a tax intern. And this summer, we're happy to say Lindsay will intern at Johnson Lambert in Burlington as an audit intern. During her time at UVM, Lindsay has been involved with the accounting club and served as an accounting tutor. Congratulations, Lindsay. Our second winner is Connor McDonald. Connor has excelled in the classroom while fulfilling his duties as an officer cadet in the US Army ROTC. Connor is very involved as a student and he will complete over 200 hours of community service during his time here at UVM. Outside of school, Connor has worked for places like the Bagel Market, the YMCA Camp Abnaki, and Wake Robin. Congratulations. Connor. Gallagher Flynn also sponsors our award for excellence in accounting for our seniors. Using similar criteria to the junior award, the accounting faculty were impressed by the nomination materials for many senior accounting students. The winner of the Gallagher Flynn Award for Excellence in Accounting is Colin Mitchell. Colin has excelled in the classroom with an induction into Beta Gamma Sigma in his junior year, has been an active outside of it serving as a peer mentor, and earning second place at the 2019 Grossman Dean's Cup case competition. I'm happy to say Colin will return to us this fall to complete his Master's of Accountancy degree and prepare for his career as a CPA. Congratulations, Colin. Our next award is the Weinstein Award for Excellence in Accounting. It is also awarded to a senior in accounting who has exhibited promise in the accounting profession. The faculty were again impressed by all the nominees and have chosen the winner as Crystal Parent. Crystal is a green and gold scholar who has excelled in the classroom, earning an invitation to Beta Gamma Sigma this year. Many of you may recognize Crystal from her work as a supplemental instructor for both Biz Ed 60 and Biz Ed 61. Persistence for students in these courses has been invaluable. 
Outside of the classroom, Crystal has been busy working for National Life in various positions for the past three years, getting experience in both the actuarial and accounting departments. Crystal will also continue her studies with us next year in the MAC program and helping her along the path to becoming a CPA. Congratulations, Crystal. Our last accounting award goes to the Outstanding Student in the MAC program. Our Masters of Accounting program is tailored for our undergraduate students. Students complete the program in one year, earning the 30 additional credits they need to sit for the CPA exam. Our graduates have been very successful on the exam, earning a pass rate in the top 10% for the past seven years and launching careers in accounting with a 100% job placement rate. Many of our undergraduate MAC students continued with us from undergrad studies, including our winner who excelled at coursework and has a strong promise as a professional accountant. Our winner is Snow Lee. Snow was a unanimous choice of the accounting faculty to win this award. All faculty spoke highly of her hard work and interactions in the classroom and with other students. I had the pleasure of teaching Snow in her first accounting class, Biz Ed 60. She was by far the best student in the class, but she had a real interest in fashion and was thinking of concentrating in marketing. I told her to give accounting a try and asked the other accounting faculty to encourage her as well. I'm happy to say Snow took our advice and will start as an audit associate at PwC in Los Angeles this fall. I'm confident she'll be able to make her way into the audit of companies in the fashion industry. Congratulations, Snow. We can't keep up with all these congratulations. We're gonna have to tally these up afterwards and create a, I don't know, a new award. <laughs> all right, well, we're gonna transition then to uh, back to Professor Thomas to talk about the Student Achievement Awards. I did want to point out a couple of the congrats, special congratulations coming in before we move to the next award segment, especially I believe Jacob C. I'm guessing that's Jacob Curtis. You can give me a thumbs up if so, who is congratulating Crystal and saying you were a wonderful resource as the supplemental instructor for BizAd 60. I think that speaks so much of our upper level students, our juniors and our graduating seniors and all of the contributions that they share with the up and coming first year and sophomore students. It's wonderful to see that resource. Uh, and we know when you graduate seniors, soon to be alums, that you will continue to give back to those GSB students and keep this wonderful community going. So fantastic to see. Moving into the next portion of our program. The GSB Faculty Award for Student Achievement is awarded to one junior and one senior each year at the annual Mosaic Center Student of Color Awards Banquet. This awards banquet recognizes the students with the strongest overall records of academic excellence and achievements in their respective class, with emphasis placed especially on their service to others. This year's recipients are Nicole Matura for the junior class and Michael Chan for the senior class. Nicole and Michael were recognized at the Mosaic Center ceremony for this event just two weeks ago. We wanted to take this time today to congratulate them again on this very special achievement. Congratulations, Nicole and Michael. The GSB Student Engagement Award was established just last year to recognize those students who have provided a positive contribution to the Grossman School of Business through their engagement and their service. This year, three students are being recognized for their important contributions to GSB. First, Elise Krakow. Elise is a founding member of the UVM Business Conversations Club. Elise has served as a teaching assistant for two first-year business courses, as junior lead judges coordinator and room coordinator for the family enterprise case competition, as underclassman advisor for the accounting club, and she's a member of both the women in business and finance and investment clubs. Congratulations, Elise. Junior Amanda Levy serves the GSB community in numerous ways. Currently, 
She is head teaching assistant for Business Enterprise 2. While at the same time managing TA responsibilities for our professional development series courses. This year, Amanda served as photographer, social media coordinator for GSB events, including the Family Enterprise Case Competition, the Grossman School of Business Dean's Cup Case Competition, and she's now been selected as the Media and Communications Chair for the Family Enterprise Case Competition 2021. Additionally, Amanda provides assistance as a peer note taker. She's the Marketing and Media Chair for the Catamount Investment Fund. President of Hala for Hunger, and she's a board member for the UVM Student Alumni Association. And having worked with Amanda in two classes over the course of this year, I can actually point out she also comes to class on top of the rest of this schedule of engagement, uh, and she does a wonderful job in the classroom as well. Congratulations, Amanda. Senior Cole Green has served as president of the UVM Entrepreneurship Club and a special projects intern for the Vermont Small Business Development Center. Cole has been very, very active in support of the Family Enterprise Case Competition. With this competition over his four years, he has served as Senior Lead Coordinator, Senior Sponsorship Coordinator, Junior Judges Coordinator, and Team Ambassador. In addition, Cole has been very active with the overall Grossman School of Business case program. He's represented GSB at numerous competitions. Congratulations, Cole, and thank you, Elise, Amanda, and Cole, for all of your service to GSB. Definitely want to encourage working. Sorry, go ahead, Barbara. <laughs> Uh, if I could just interject here, yeah, keep encouraging the comments, but I, I want to take us back to the Mac Award for a second, if you don't mind. Um, Professor DeWitt says she remembers Snow fondly as a first year student, who definitely marched to her own beat, but she's waiting to see her as a head of the fashion empire. And Professor Sharma says, great location for Snow to start a career. She will soon be following her reading the Oscars to everyone. I agree completely. Um, and we're getting congratulations for the engagement awards and the achievement awards. We're seeing some for Bri uh, from Brian Gomez, thank you, and from Professor Nelson as well. Awesome, thank you so much. At this point, I'd like to return us to the Concentration Awards and I'll turn the floor back to Professor Chittenden to present our Business Analytics Concentration Awards. So, so as we were preparing for this, we were concerned that not enough activity in the chat window was going to come in to make this a lively event. I'm glad that that concern was unfounded in many ways. And I also want to say that this is the time of day that the mailman usually comes by and I have three dogs. So I apologize in advance if all of a sudden there's a, a flurry of barking during this. But and I was also worried that I wouldn't have enough cheesy jokes to get people to smile on the other ends of these nodes during this conversation. So I hope I've achieved that end at least. The uh, junior award for excellence in business analytics is given to the junior in the concentration with the strongest record of academic excellence, co-curricular and extracurricular involvement and achievement, demonstrated leadership skill and experience, and promise of future potential professional excellence in this field. This year's award, I'm very excited to announce, is presented to Maggie Mathis. Professor Hong Do writes, Maggie is a junior student in with a concentration in business analytics and a minor in computer science. She has received the UVM trustee scholarship and has been on the Dean's list every semester of her UVM career. Maggie has very interesting work experience. As an IT intern at Israel Discount Bank of New York from June 2019 to August, she developed a $4 million project plan and managed, that managed reporting for an enterprise application upgrade initiative. In addition to her academic life, Maggie is also an athlete who is a leader of the UVM athletics outreach program and a member of the University of Vermont Division I's women's soccer team. Go Cats. The Senior Award for Excellence in business, uh, business Analytics is awarded to a graduating student in the concentration with the strongest record of academic excellence, co-curricular and extracurricular involvement and achievement, demonstrated leadership skill and experience, and promise of future professional excellence in the field. This year's award, I'm very excited to announce, is presented to Emily Heon. Emily is a senior pursuing two degrees, a Bachelor's of Science in Business Administration with a Business Analytics concentration and a Bachelor's of Arts in Economics, as well as a minor in Statistics, all in only four years. Impressive. 
She has been working tirelessly to achieve remarkable academic e excellence. Emily was honored with the Junior Award for Excellence in Business Analytics in 2019 and a Sophomore of Distinction Award in 2018. Emily is a Beta Gamma Sigma, mem Sigma member and has been on the Dean's List for all the semesters of her UVM career. Emily represented UVM to compete in two case competitions, ICBC and KGP Project Management. In addition to this recognition, more congratulations are in order for Emily. She has been elected to join the prestigious Phi Beta Kappa Honor Society and will be inducted into membership at a separate ceremony in the coming days. I'm now going to turn the virtual floor over to Amy Thomas and tell my pets they're all off the hook and they did pretty well. Sure. Thank you, Professor Chinden, and so did you. I do have to point out to our audience that we are now getting quite a few congratulations for your cheesy jokes in addition to our award recipients. Uh, so job well done. Mission accomplished. Wonderful, wonderful to see all of these comments coming in. So many congratulations to our business analytics concentration recipients, also to our engagement winners. Um, Professor Lowenson writes, what an amazing class of 2020 we have. So lots and lots of congratulations all around. Now it's my privilege to present on behalf of my colleagues in the marketing concentration, our concentration awards. These awards are presented to the students in the marketing field with the strongest overall record of academic achievement and future promise in the field of marketing. It's my pleasure to announce the Junior Award for Excellence in Marketing is presented to Sarah Fazzaro. As you see from her credentials, Sarah is very deserving of this honor. I will point out to you that Sarah is joining us from Switzerland, uh, her home away from home, and you'll soon hear about uh, the wonderful opportunities she has been able to take advantage of there. It's almost sleepy time for her, so I'll try to make this quick so she can stay awake. Along with her concentration in marketing, Sarah is pursuing a theme in global business. She's taken full advantage of her expertise in both fields. She's combined these interests through three summer internships, three in a row, summer internships in global branding and social media at Novartis Pharmaceuticals in Basel, Switzerland, where she also has pursued international study opportunities. When she's here with us in the States, she has many accomplishments as well. Sarah was recognized as the best presenter at the 2020 GSB Dean's Cup case competition. She's a member of the Marketing Club and the Women in Business Club. She's the recipient of a presidential scholarship and she's been consistently noted on the Dean's List. Last year, Sarah was selected as a GSB Student of Distinction, in addition to being recognized as the Fraternity and Sorority Life Scholar of the Year for 2019. Congratulations to you, Sarah. Now it's my pleasure to announce the Senior Award for Excellence in Marketing is presented to Monica Nadalkovic. Monica will understand after a whole year's work and courses together that uh, she knows I refer to her as Monica N. And uh, Monica N, she may notice it's been Monica N on every feedback sheet, every note that I've written to her, but I tried it once. Uh, I couldn't be more pleased to present this award to Monica N. When asked about Monica, every one of her marketing professors were effusive in their descriptions. Monica has been described as a model student, she is incredibly engaged and thoughtful. She's a wonderful student who is exceptionally prepared. She's been described as a student who takes every case discussion to a higher level with her insightful comments. She always has a smile on her face. She brings a warmth and enthusiasm with her to the classroom. She is a leader among her peers. She's the student that everyone wants to have in their group. I can attest personally, Monica is an absolute delight to have in the classroom. The marketing faculty and I are thrilled to be able to honor her with this award. Congratulations, Monica. At this point in the program, I'll turn the floor back to Professor Arell for our final concentration awards. Thank you, Professor Thomas, and I've been scrolling the Q&A the Q again and seeing some more congratulations come in. And as you mentioned, Sarah is far away, but not far from people's minds. She's getting congratulations from Travis Perry in the Center for Student Success and some of our first year and second year students of distinction. 
Mateus and Jacob, and we're getting Rocky says, congratulations, Sarah. I can't wait for her to be stateside. And Professor Nelson says, way to go, Sarah. You added so much to our marketing class this semester. So uh, including Cole, he's winning many awards, but he's taking the time to congratulate Monica on her senior award for excellence in marketing. Uh, Professor Zhang has award as well and Professor Thomas, the other Professor Thomas, uh, has congratulated Monica as well. So congratulations to all and keep the comments coming. Yes, as we mentioned, we're going to transition to our last concentration award, which is finance. So in the finance, our first finance award is sponsored by Major Junior Sader. This award is given to the junior who demonstrates academic excellence and interest in finance. The faculty were so impressed with the quality of the nominations, they selected two winners for this award. The first winner is Dana Marsh. Dana transferred into the business school after his first semester of college, and he has excelled in the classroom, joining Beta Gamma Sigma this year. His first position was an internship at People's United's Bank, with the securities and cash processing team in Williston, and he recently accepted an internship at Commonwealth Care Alliance as a strategic finance associate in Boston. And I'd just like to point out that he wanted to thank the PDS courses for helping him to find, uh, make sure his LinkedIn profile was up to date and helping him to find the um, jobs that he got as internship. So thank you to that, Dana. Uh, out of the classroom, Dana's been an active member of the men's ice hockey club, and he was elected president this past year, leading the club through numerous community service activities like volunteering at Zoe's Race in Burlington. Congratulations, Dana. Our second winner is Morgan Whitney. Morgan is a member of the Honors College and is concentrating in both finance and business analytics. She's interned at Edlin Company in Burlington for two summers, working on data and inventory processes for the company. Morgan's been an active member of the Women in Business Club and is a member of the Track and Field Club here at UVM. Congratulations, Morgan. The next award, the Stephen Penwell Award for Excellence in Finance, recognizes an outstanding senior for their academic excellence, interest in finance, and expectations of continued excellence in the field. There were many worthy candidates for this award, and the finance faculty were unable to differentiate the students, so they selected three winners. The first winner is Kyle Ellerbach. Kyle has pushed himself during his time at UVM to not only maintain academic excellence, but gain valuable experience as well. In his junior year, he spent five to 10 hours a week working at Harm and Harm Financial Consulting as an intern, along with an elected position on the men's club ice hockey team and a tutoring position. Last summer, he worked as an intern in a real estate finance firm in Burlington and managed his own lawn care company serving over 50 residential and commercial clients. Congratulations, Kyle. I was one of those clients this past weekend, so he actually just helped me out, got me out of some yard work. So thank you, Kyle, but he's a phenomenal student and he has a great lawn, lawn landscaping business. Excellent to hear, it's continuing, that's great. The second winner of the Stephen Penwell Award for Excellence in Finance is Owen Grant. A true student athlete, Owen has balanced the demands of a Division I varsity hockey position with a challenging course load of finance and excelled at both. Owen has been named to the Dean's List every semester. He's earned two scholarship awards for academic excellence. Last summer, Owen worked as an intern at Morgan Stanley Wealth Management in Colchester, and this summer, he hopes to gain more experience in the finance field at J.P. Morgan. Congratulations, Owen. The third winner for finance is Maria Patari. Maria loves to challenge herself academically. She's excelled in the classroom, earning a Beta Gamma Sigma invitation in her junior year. She's also participated in the Wall Street seminar class that pushed her to make presentations to a number of Morgan Stanley equity research analysts. 
She made such a great impression during her presentations, she was invited back to an interview for a full-time position. Marie also completed her honors college thesis this year with her faculty advisor, Akshay Muda, in which she analyzed the impact of inventory management on financial performance. Outside of the classroom, Maria served as a judge at the Dean's Cup case competition after her team won the competition in 2019, and she was named the best individual presenter. Congratulations, Maria. We've got a lot of comments coming in. We're a little back up, backed up back to marketing and to the finance comments. Um, have to make sure uh, to share shout outs for Sarah and Monica from classmates, from faculty members. Monica, from your folks and your seven brothers and sisters, all cheering for you, all in one message. Congratulations from many of the faculty for the finance students as well, as well as their classmates. Professor Michael Thomas uh, says he's pleased to have had the honor to work with all three of the senior recipients. Um, and about the junior students, just couldn't be more proud of all of the wonderful finance students. Congratulations from Andy Prevost, Rick Vandenberg, Andre Yukov. Um, many, many congratulations. Congratulations from Professor Dita Sharma coming in for the finance recipients of junior and senior awards from Rocky DeWitt as well. Thank you. And we have had great uh, success with all these awards, and now we're going to turn it back to Dean Sharma to present the final awards of the day. Thank you. Thanks, and congratulations, everyone. Wow, I'm so glad that I don't have to compete with uh, our students. You know, when I went through uh, college, I did not, I did not have to compete with such such impressive uh, students in terms of their academic achievements and extracurricular activities. I'm glad I've graduated. I don't have to do it again with, with these outstanding students. So now we come to the overall achievement awards. Students in the top 10% of the junior and senior classes are eligible to be nominated for the overall achievement awards. The students who are nominated are asked to submit their credentials to be considered for the award. After reviewing a selection of materials, the full faculty body at the Grossman School vote to determine one junior and one senior to receive the Outstanding Achievement Award. So I will begin with Outstanding Junior Award for Academic Excellence and Overall Achievement. I'm really pleased to announce that the winner is David Gringeri. I would like to share a few notes about his academic and extracurricular achievements. David is at the top of the junior class with a concentration in finance and a minor in economics in computer science. David serves as a student trusted, a trustee at the U, on the UVM Board of Trustees. He's active in case competitions and David's teams have won podium finishes at the Grossman Family Enterprise Case Competition and the Milgrad Invitational Case Competition on Corporate Social Responsibility. David has completed a summer internship with Morgan Stanley focused on equity research. He was a teaching assistant for Business Enterprise too, and serves as a senator on the UVM Student Government Association Finance Committee. David is involved in the entrepreneurial ecosystem at UVM through his work with the Caramount Innovation Fund as a senior analyst and the incoming CEO. The Caramount Innovation Fund is a student-run program that provides students and recent alumni with business development resources and non-equity funding for startup ventures. Congratulations, David. And now I'm very pleased to announce the Guido Outstanding Senior Award for Academic Excellence and Overall Achievement to Maria Pitari. Now, uh, Maria's uh, accomplishments have already been uh, talked about where, you know, a, a, uh, when, when uh, she received a previous award, but I think it, it, it's worth repeating her accomplishments once again. 
So Maria is graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Business Administration degree concentrating in global business and finance with a 4.0 GPA. And she also is graduating with a minor in economics. She is also a graduate of the Honors College. Her awards include the Outstanding Junior Award for Academic Excellence and Overall Achievement. So she received this award as a junior last year. The Penwell Award for Excellence in Finance, the Perkins Scholarship Award, the Presidential Scholarship, the James F. Gatti Scholarship, the Pizza Gali Vermont Scholarship, and she has been on the Dean's List every semester. She's a member of the Beta Gamma Sigma Academic Honor Society for Business. She has pursued a number of professional opportunities, including summer business analyst with Redwood Partners, a marketing liaison with University Program Board, and a franchise marketing intern with the Lash Lounge. Maria served as a GSP teaching assistant for Business Enterprise One and is a student analyst for the Caramount Innovation Fund and has contributed to the fund by forming a committee of returning students to lead next year's accelerator and continue to foster entrepreneurship on UBM's campus. Congratulations, Maria. Congratulations, both David and Maria. Well done. So now I'm going to uh, switch to the Dean's Awards. So every year, we seek nominations for two Dean's Awards. These recognize excellence in faculty scholarship and excellence in staff, work ethic, and support. So the Dean's Award for Faculty Research Excellence, so no surprise, goes to Srini Venugopal. The purpose of the Dean's Award for Faculty Research Excellence is to recognize, reward, and motivate research excellence at all levels in the Grossman School of Business. Congratulations, Srini, and also to the other faculty members nominated for the award. It's always a very close and difficult decision for the committee. We have excellent scholars at GSP, but we only have one award. And the same also applies to the staff awards. We have outstanding staff, but we only give out one award every year. And the purpose of the Dean's Staff Excellence Award is to formally recognize the special efforts of staff members who consistently make outstanding contributions to the work environment of the Grossman School of Business. It is my pleasure to announce this year's winner, Travis Perry. Congratulations, Travis, and all the other staff members considered for the award. As I said, we have outstanding excellent and dedicated staff members at the school. Congratulations, everyone. The next award is the Masters of Accounting Faculty of the Year Award. The Masters of Accounting students in the graduating class vote for the MAC Teacher of the Year Award. The award is presented to the individual who receives more than 50% of the votes cast. This often takes multiple rounds of ballots. It is my pleasure to announce this year's MAC Teacher of the Year, Barbara L. Congratulations, Barb. So congratulations, everyone. All our students, the award winners, the faculty members, the staff who were recognized this afternoon. Thank you, everyone, for joining us here today to recognize the achievements of our best and brightest in the GB, GSP community. I wish you a good evening. I also wish you health and hope that you stay safe and healthy in this difficult time. We are all looking forward to seeing you back on campus, even our graduating seniors, whom we hope to recognize in a physical commencement ceremony in the future. So thank you everyone. Good night and bye.
people are still welcome to leave congratulations in the message thread, and we're going to tally them up afterwards and have an award for congratulations.